Hello and welcome to Mixed Media Mashup. If you are um, watching this live, you'll know because there will be a scrolling chat to your right with people chatting. Otherwise, if all you can do is leave a comment below like a normal video, then this is just a normal video. It's just a recording from the live stream. So we're not live anymore, in other words. Why won't this cut? Cut. Oh, that's a lovely sound. Come on. I know I should be using my other mat, but my other mat is busy. <laughs> Goodness. Hello. Hi, Wanda. Hi, Pauline. I can't see the chat very well. I'm making an attempt to cut a piece of fabric and failing miserably. Well, I'm not failing exactly. I'm just not doing the greatest of jobs. And man, is it about to storm outside. Damn. Because this storm, I looked at the radar. The storm is still quite a distance off. It's like 25 miles away. And I can hear, and the thunder is like really loud. And I looked at the radar. Hello, everyone. You holding your breath while I cut? Yeah, I'm holding my breath, too. It won't cut because I don't have my right mat, which I need to dig out my mat, which I stupidly put on the other side of the... Never mind. It's hard to explain where that is, but... It's frustrating because it won't just cut. It's cutting, like, parts of it. Come on, cut, you jackass. <sighs> really? Is it really going to be this freaking hard to cut a piece of denim? Oh, God, I give up. Give me my damn scissors. Holy crap, either my blade is really, really bad, or this mat is no good for cutting. Can anybody tell me which one? Now it's cut. It might be this blade. I don't know. It's not like I use it a whole lot. Right now and again. Ew. My wrist. I'm probably destroyed. Is that what it is? Because I'm using I thought this is what this was. This is a cutting mat. It's not for fabric, like it's not for that type of blade. I don't know. I don't care. I have a regular mat. It's just I can't get to it right now with the way it is. So, yeah, I tried drawing a line and making using scissors. It didn't work because I I, I can't, I'm not good at cutting fabric. So that's just how it is. I'm just not good at it. I tried doing all the drawing the line and doing this, doing that, and I ended up with a, a bigger mess. Awesome. Thank you, Sharon. I have the right mat. That's what I was just saying. I have it, but it's underneath a bunch of crap, and I can't get to it right now. And eventually, I'm going to get it out. It's not often that I cut fabric, so. I have the right mat, but I thought this was an, a, a sufficient mat as well, this glass one. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. I only had to cut this piece, so it doesn't matter. It's over with. It's done. It's done! Alright, Christy. Take care of that. Don't worry about us. That is far more important than this live stream, that's for sure. Anyway, now that I've made a mess and I got fabric everywhere, how's everybody doing tonight? Thank you to everybody that 
so far has supported me on Patreon. I really pre appreciate it. It's a much easier way to give donations. I mean, the super chats are still great and those are good for one time donations, but the Patreon is a great way to help support my channel. And plus you get things in return, which is what that's all about. I made a video explaining what it is because I've got a whole bunch of mail from people being all angry, thinking that this, that, and the other. Trust me, if I'm going to make any kind of change to my channel or my group that is going to affect anybody negatively or make anything any different, I will believe me you let you know first. No, that is, Patreon is an add-on. It is just a way for me to be able to keep track of who donates to my channel and be able to give them something in return for their donation, which I really wasn't able to do before because I'd have to kind of track people down and it was hard. And this way, it's kind of like also an introduction to some live classes that I'm going to do as well because in the future I do plan on doing more live classes that will be like, you know, open to everybody to as a one-time thing. But these are just going to be live classes that are for my Patreons. Um, and basically I'm going to let them pick, you know, with polls and whatnot. I mean, because it's not like there's going to be a ton of people on my Patreon. So it's going to be a small intimate group so I can say, hey, what do you guys want to learn and give a list and have them vote on it. And that's what the group is for. They have a, their own secret group so we can talk, you know, about the Patreon, about what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? Do you guys hear this thunder? I mean, good Lord, it is, the, the storm is still far enough away where I shouldn't be hearing this much thunder. This is going to be a big ass storm that's going to come through right while we're doing our live stream, but that's okay. And people are still outside like idiots trying to light off fireworks because, you know. Well, I hope things get better for you, Amanda. The best thing to do is to distract yourself with, with crafting. That's what I do on a daily basis. Um, what do I do with my brushes? I still haven't put my gesso on this yet. Because, yes, I am doing my mixed media mashup on a piece of denim. I ripped up some jeans that I got from Chris last night. He was going to throw them away. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Bring them here. We don't throw away denim in this house. We craft on denim, we paint on denim, but we don't throw it away. And I, I'm, I'm making this into a journal cover, so that's why I wanted it to be square, even though by the time I'm done with it, I'm going to fray all the edges anyway. But I wanted it to start off fairly square, just for the purposes of putting together a journal, make it easier on me. And then I'm going to um, fray the crap out of the edges. But denim works fantastic. I've done this before and I've done videos on it several times. Um, denim is fantastic for if you don't have canvas or, you know, if you don't have canvas or you can't afford to get canvas and you have some old jeans lying around. Well, there you go. You got some canvas because these work great as canvases. You can even stretch these over some wood. So if I get nervous and jump a little bit during the live stream, it's just because there's thunder right out, thunder and lightning right outside my window. I don't like thunder and lightning. I don't like it ever since I was a kid and almost got struck. Well, pretty much got struck by lightning, just not full on. I got hit by some residual lightning that struck a few feet away and threw me back. Um, threw me back about 10 feet. And I was electrically charged, let's just say. <laughs> I felt that jolt. But, um, yeah, you don't, have to be, you don't have to be real close to lightning to feel the lightning go through your body. And ever since then, I was like 10 or 12 years old when that happened. Probably 10, maybe even 9 or 8 when that happened. It was in Florida. And ever since then... I don't like lightning and thunder. I stay inside. I'm not one of those people that go, likes to go outside and look at the light. No, 
No, I run if I hear thunder. I bolt like like a bat out of hell. If I even hear it off in the distance, I'm I'm out. <laughs> like I was out feeding the cats yesterday and I had that video going. Well, I went out after I stopped the video, I ran out with some food to put in their bowl and I heard thunder and <laughs> I ran like a like a chicken into the house. I was like, "Okay, I'm done, cats. Bye." <laughs> Oh, we, I, I hate people too, so we're in the same boat. <laughs> and I don't mean like you people. I just mean like people in public. Just people. Just dealing with people. People on the phone. People at the store. People who take their kids to the store and then let them run around and don't pay attention to what they're doing. Just people. I dislike them. I yell at other people's kids at the store because I'm sorry if you're stupid enough to take your, you know, young children to the store. And first of all, if you're married and you decide that instead of leaving your kids home with the husband to watch while you go to the store so you can get the, you know, not aggravate the whole world, then you're an idiot because your kids don't need to be at the store. If you have a husband at home or somebody at home that can watch them. If you don't, then I understand completely. However, if you do have to bring your kids to the store and you haven't taught them from a young age that running around the store is not okay, then you're an idiot. Because I don't think it's okay that your three and four year old and five year olds are running around the store screaming at the top of their lungs, banging into people. That's when I yell at children. And I sometimes will bring them back to their mother and yell at the mother and say, do something about your children. Because they should, first of all, they shouldn't be running around a store un, unsupervised because, thank you, that's how kids get kidnapped. So those type of people annoy me. I get that it's hard to be a mom, but come on. They make carts for a reason. Stick your damn kid in the cart. Even if you have to stick them in the body of the cart, get a blanket, stick them in there. Give them a coloring book and teach them to sit still. I wasn't allowed. When I was a kid, I had to sit in the car. And when I was old enough to not be in the car, I had to have my hand on the side of the basket. If I let that hand off that basket, it got slapped. Now, I'm going to say you have to slap your kid, but because I don't believe in hitting kids. However, if I was able to learn, and I was a hyper child, then any kid can learn to have their, to be behave in a store well, see I don't agree with that because if he didn't know how to watch the kids then he was just being he was just being lazy and he was just saying he didn't want to watch acted like he didn't want to watch the kids because he was being lazy because I hope you got rid of that one <laughs> Because that's how Chris would have been. He would have acted like he couldn't watch the kids. Or like, because he, he's lazy. And that, that's what that comes down to. Is just laziness. Not wanting to do something because they, they're lazy. I, I, like some people had said something. I remember I was watching some YouTube channel. And they said something like. When you have to ask your husband to babysit your own, his own children. I'm like, yeah, no. I draw the line at that right there. <laughs> their husband should have the children and it shouldn't be considered, oh, I don't want to babysit the children. It's their kids. You know what I mean? But there are husbands out there that feel that way. And to me, that's like ridiculous. It shouldn't be a given that a woman should just take care of the children all the time. <laughs> And yes, I understand smacking hands is different than hitting them, but I used to get beat. So that's why I said I don't agree with smacking. Like, my mom didn't just smack my hands. Like, <laughs> we got hit. <laughs> I said smacking hands, but I got beat when I was a kid. I was abused severely. <laughs> Thank you.
Hi, secret. No, my ass wasn't pink. I would have black and blue and black eyes and cuts and things like that. Child services was called. Yeah, that's the type of stuff I went through as a kid. But yeah, that's why I don't believe in hitting kids. I don't believe it's you can punish them without hitting them. I mean, a smack on a hand, like, you know, like, like she was saying, that's one thing. But to like beat your kids, I don't agree with that. You are getting some healing vibes from me right now. Oh my god. A toe? And, oh my god. I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. I can imagine you're overwhelmed. Yeah, I understand, Luis. I mean, my mom's dead. I don't wish she was dead. I wish my father was dead. <laughs> I wish my father died instead of her. Even though she wasn't that great when I was a kid either, but she was, my mom was under a lot of pressure from my father because my father was such an ass. And so my mom was under a lot of stress and pressure from him. And she did some things, but she apologized and made it better when I got older, whereas he never ever did and never would apologize for anything. So this is what I'm going to do with the journal. It'll be like that, but all the edges will hopefully be frayed. But that's what we're going to use. And you know what? I got to get my cards out and shuffle them because I never did that because I was running late today because I was dealing with some things this morning. So or this evening well honestly I didn't even wake up I went to bed at like I don't know 11 12 o'clock so I didn't even get up until um, 7 30 tonight like at night <laughs>
Alright, we're all shuffled up. I had to get rid of all the cards that we don't use, like the one where it says like grab first thing to your right, like when you're playing the actual mixed media mashup game game. They were all mixed up throughout because I stupidly grabbed them all. I had them on the bottom and then I grabbed them and started shuffling them in, but I got them all out. Hi to anybody I haven't said hi to. Hi, it's Nana's Place. Okay, acrylic paint. That's a good start. Good start. Good start. Kind of. Um, I don't know what colors I want to use. I didn't even think about it because I didn't... I didn't think too much before I started today about what I was doing. So I think I'm going to use teal. I'm going to start with teal. That's what we're going to start with. At least I am. Where'd my credit card go that I used to spread paint with? I have nine million of them and they're gone. There they are. There they are. Sneaky. Um, oh, I didn't show you guys this ATC I made. But actually, it's a journal. Well, I don't know what it's called. It's an accordion journal thing. And then on the back, there's another ATC. And then you can open it this way. So it's a accordion ATC. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. But I worked on that yesterday, last night. And I don't know if I'll do a video on it, maybe. If I get time. But I was doing that. Alright, we need more than that color. What other color? Let's see. Let me see. Um, hmm. Let me see. Purple and teal. Thanks. It's not quite finished. I still have some more to do to it, but it's getting there. Awesome, Mandy. Breaking in that new journal. I guess I need more paint than I think I do. this. I think that would be a good, good contrast. 
Watch out, I got the paint. Try not to get it on the back of this, but the odds are that that's going to happen. So I don't think it's going to matter too much. I'm not sure whether I'm going to back it with anything or not. I might back it and sew a piece of material onto it, but I'm not positive. I haven't really decided because I just thought of this like... Oh, you figured out the chat? Awesome, Kelly. Goodness. Was it, was it like I said, to turn the phone the other way? Because a lot of people have, I've, a lot of people have said to me, I can't see the chat. And I'll say, well, turn your phone the other way. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't let you have the chat when it, the phone is the, like in the horizontal position. And it only lets you chat if it's in a, a vertical. It's so weird. I don't know. They need to get on the ball, though. They need to get on the ball. Well, if I get paint on the outside, I'm not going to fuss about it too much. Oh, you didn't have the app. Oh, that's why. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> so you were way out of the loop. When I mentioned that, you were probably like, app? There's an app? That's all right. All that matters is you're here now. Now I should be mean and kick you out of the chat. <laughs> and just say, don't, you're not allowed to chat now. <laughs> oh, she'd kill me. She'd come after me. Just trying to get off trying to get all the major white spots out. I think that looks cool though. I'm good with that. I'm going to dry it a little bit because then I'm going to add some glitter paint. Because, you know, come on. Did you really think we were going to go without glitter? Come on. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pixie.
rag. The knees get sweat. Thunder's getting closer. It's getting closer. I think this stuff has color in it. Yeah, it's like kind of colored, but it changes color. It gets all sparkly. It's also got some pink glops in it. Goodness, I don't like those. Not allowed to have glops. mumbling to myself. I was saying that there was glops in my paint. But hello, don't you know me by now? I talk to myself non-stop. Where have you been, lady? Now that we've got a good coat of sparkle on there, it's going to look pretty badass. I'm going to dry it a little more, and then we're going to pick another card. Oh, hey, Sean. Yeah, I did see that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That was awesome. Did you change your, 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 uh, your name on? Oh, well, obviously you changed your name. What's it stand for? T-A-P. art professor <laughs> take a picture everybody's trying to get oh that's cute Stacy what are YP what are YP what are YP I don't know what are YP <laughs> I don't know what are YP Oh, 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 what are up? Oh, gotcha. Sorry. I'm like, what is what am I doing now? Um, nothing's up. How are you, Lynn? We're doing our um, mixed media mashup, but we're doing I'm doing it on denim today. And I don't know if you can see all that glitter. Fabulous glitter. Um, 
let's pick another card. Add gesso. So obviously, if you at this point want to add gesso, you can. I'm not going to because I already have gesso, but that's just what came up. So I will give you guys a second if you want to add gesso, and then I'll pick another card. Yeah, I like doing stuff on denim. I'm going to use this as a journal cover. Um, because I haven't made a denim journal in a while. So it'll be a cool journal when it's done. And I'll probably line the inside with some other fabric and sew it in or something. I don't know yet. I haven't gotten that far. Don't know. But I want something fun and funky. I didn't want to do anything like grungy or anything. I thought about it, but I'm like, it's denim. It should be like graffiti art type of thing. It would look cool. Sometimes I'll do like denim and lace type of stuff. Other times if I'm doing denim, denim I'll do like the graffiti art look kind of that type of thing. You could do cool grunge work with denim, though. That, that also looks cool. I just was in the mood for some color. Um, Sean, who is TAP, he, he does spray paint art. He does really cool spray paint art. Um, I love spray paint art. That's one thing I wish I could do. That's kind of cool. But he has a channel, so um, if you get a chance to, you can, there's three little dots that'll come up if you hover over somebody's like name or like their message. And if you click on those three little dots, it'll say you can go to somebody's channel. So you could go check out and subscribe to Sean's channel, um, TAP. Uh, that would be awesome because he's got some cool videos. No, I want them to fray. <laughs> I'm going to be purposely fraying them, which is why I didn't put a lot of paint on the edge. Because if I put paint, then it's probably not going to. Like here, it might not so much. But the more fraying I can get, actually, the better. So, and what I usually do is like when I'm all done, is I'll take a razor blade and I'll go like that with it until I get all the little frayed bits. But, yeah. We want some phrase. Cool. Yeah, I seen the video you had put up. It was really cool. But yeah. He's very talented with the spray paint. I'm gonna pick another card. Music, book, or dictionary papers. Um I might put some paper on here some music book or dictionary papers I don't know if I have any uh, painted music paper hmm let me go see if I have any because I'd want some that was painted but I don't know if I have any hold on
have is this piece and it's well I have more than this but it's not white um, I don't have any white music paper let's see before I nix the idea completely Of my way. Come on. Right. Get off of there. Oh, good, Sean. I'm glad you posted some stuff in the group to show. Awesome! I'm not sure I'm going to use that. Let's try different colors and see what we get. Yes, we have a male member. I know, right? Not enough guys in the crafting world. There are a few. I'll just play. Play around and see what we get.
See, now this is why Sean doesn't want to come to our live streams because you guys are talking about fighting with your bras. <laughs> ATC, yeah, that's a great thing to do. Um, have you tried acrylic pouring? You'd probably like that a lot. That would be a great alternative for you in the wintertime is acrylic pouring. I forgot how much I like these paints. stains or whatever the heck they are. I like some. No, acrylic pouring is where you pour acrylic paints onto a canvas. Um, in one minute, I'll go get the canvas I made. Oh my goodness, if you haven't seen that, you are in for a mind-blowing experience. You will love it. It's where you use Floetrol, you use a torch. It's really cool. I think Sean will like that. It's addicting though. All right, they look pretty cool. Clean this mess up. And then I'll go grab my canvas so that Sean can get so excited he's gonna run out and go get a torch and some paint and some Floetrol and be like, see you later, bitches. Hold on, I'll be right back.
Now keep in mind, most people do these on a large basis, like a larger canvases, but this is acrylic pouring. And when you use a torch, you put in something called, sil well, you put in silicone, but then you put something called Floetrol in, and between all of that, when you torch it with a torch and go over it, you get all these little cells that pop up all throughout the paint. And then you put some, that's clear coat I have on there, so that's why it's so shiny. Oh, you did. So you watched out. I know. When I, <laughs> I knocked over the cup, but here's some of the ones I did more recently. So you did see this. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm always knocking stuff over. That's just a given. Focus. Let's focus. Focus. Doesn't want to focus because it's shiny. Well, doesn't want to focus because it's shiny. And then here's the last two. Yeah, they came out good. They still need another coat or two of the clear coat. I just haven't gotten to it yet. This one definitely I need another coat on. But, yep. Yeah. Oh, is your address in the address file in the group, uh, Sean? Because if it is, I'll send you one of those ATCs. Because we're doing our ATC thing now. Um, okay, so I did the paper, but I never put it on. Duh. Let's see. I don't even know if I want to put it on. I just thought, well, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Well, the silicone and the torch, you can get that stuff fairly easily. Um, so don't let that stop you. The silicone's cheap. Torches are like fifteen dollars. You can use you can use a heat gun as long as it doesn't blow real hard. And you can also do it without any of that and just do it with the paint. You don't have to have the torch. You don't have to have the silicone. We're going to add a little of this in there. I know your address is in there, silly Sharon. I, I was asking Sean, but I said, I say Sharon. I don't know. Maybe I did because I'm an idiot. Sean, Sharon, Sharon, Sean. I guess they sound the No, we, he doesn't need to hook up with me. He's married. <laughs> Unless you mean something else, but that's what hooked up means.
Oh, okay. Well, he's not married, but he doesn't need that. That doesn't need to happen. <laughs> That's the last thing I need in my life. Remember, we've talked about this. <laughs> we've discussed this, people. It might, you guys are always just notoriously trying to get me to date somebody or change my mind on dating. <laughs> I give you A for effort. I really do. Plus, I like having for Sean as a friend, even though, I mean, we haven't gotten to talk all that much, but I like having him as a friend. I don't want to ruin friendships. You know, that would just get messy. <laughs> me too, Sean. I want ice cream. <laughs> Let me out. Do I want to add any of this color in? Mm, not really. I don't know. That's good enough. I'm probably going to put other things on it anyway. Well, that's true, though. Yeah, that's true, because me and Secret are, that's my wife, so, uh, hello. <laughs> She's the only one that I'd be, that I'd want to be with anyway. Because I don't have to worry about having sex with her, and I I live across the country, so it makes things a lot easier. <laughs> married. She's allowed to be married. I allow her to keep her husband around. He's handy, so he's allowed to be around because he's a handy guy to have around. So, I'm all for that. They just want a romance between me and another another artsy person. So in their brains, me and Sean could go off making art together into the sunset. <laughs> eh, it still doesn't seem even, even though I cut it. What? You're supposed to be glued down. I probably should wait for the glue to dry before I go folding it in the first place. Probably would be a smart thing to do. Okay. Does anybody have any objections to me picking another card? My fingers are disgusting. And I'm going to pick another card. Oh, the plastic on these drive me nuts. As much as I tend to leave the plastic on, I just need to Take it off. 
Let me just pick all. Okay. All right. Picking another card. Add tape. So this is where you would break out your washi tape, your masking tape, or whatever kind of tape you want to do and add it. I'm not going to add any to this, but you can add tape to yours, obviously, if you want to. I'll wait. If I was doing it on paper or something like that, I would add tape and stuff. But because I want it to be a journal cover, I don't mind adding paper because you can add paper. That's the nice thing about a piece of denim. It's literally like a piece of canvas. You can, you know, put slap stuff on it just like you would canvas. So paper or whatever you want, it'll hold really well. And if you use Mod Podge or whatever, it'll stay flexible. So that's why I'm able to fold it and do all the same stuff that I would normally do to a piece of paper. Closest to what? What are we closest to? Oh, closest to who? Hi, Jennifer. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. Or right uh, right north of Nashville. Oh, who is single? Oh, no. I'm not single. Secret's my wife. She's my ball and chain. <laughs> Can't get rid of that bitch. <laughs> oh, closest to you, or are you a, are you saying who's a single? Are you a single woman in the in the in the room, Sean? <laughs> well, you're in what Missouri? Yeah, I'm probably just a couple hours from you then. You'll have to come to Nashville and do your street art out here. Because you can come to Nashville and people will buy that shit up. Damn Taurus. Alright, I'm going to pick another card, unless anybody has any objections. I figure it doesn't take too long to add tape. Stencil! I have to go get a stencil. I definitely want to do stenciling. Let me go gather myself a stencil. gathered some stencils. I gotta fix my chair because my pillows are falling off. Dropping stuff all over the place. Okay. Unky! Let's see. Let's do that one. 
I don't want that one. We'll do that one. And we'll do that one for now. And we'll do that one. Okay. I'm just going to go over it with, hmm, there's my paint being difficult, there we go, go over it with some colors, go over it with some colors, you know, colors. raining like a bitch outside. Why can't I get this open? That's why. That's it, let's put the stencil right in the mess. Fabulous. These stencils annoy me to death because they're so hard to clean because they fold and bend. Okay. What was I going to do 
now. I don't know. That's right. I'll do some of these. Some of these here triangular things or arrow things. I don't know why I said triangles. They're certainly not triangles. Let's what I wonder what color that would be if I mixed it together. Would it be a good purple? Because I'm just gonna use purple anyway, so I mean I could just add a little bit of this to it. Interesting. I have to go back over my sparkle because we lost some sparkle in the process, but that's okay. That can be easily fixed. dry this just a tad with my drying utensil. Throw that in some water so they don't dry up. Get rid of this mess. You've been editing a video, Melissa? Why does it always get all moist underneath? All right, uh, I want to use this stencil with some... Um, I'd love to use some green metallic, but I'm not sure how it's going to show up. Yeah, it should show up. Okay, we'll try it. I'll bite. I can get to another one of my dabbers, daubers, makeup sponges, whatever. Because I would love to throw some some pop of brightness in there with this. Yeah, we like that. We like 
get we definitely like it. here using a paint at this point. <laughs> Alright, good enough. Put that over here. working along with me tonight. It might help if I didn't have so much stuff in front of my screen that I can't see. <laughs> you can't see what's going on. Hi Sandy. Um, if you click to the right of like anything they typed like any other messages, like you'll see three little dots pop up. You click on those dots and it'll you can choose to go to their channel. Cool, Pauline is, Mandy is, awesome. Creative space is not because she is visiting her sister. So no, you didn't bring any craft supplies with you? Tisk tisk. Your feet hurt from cleaning the craft room. <laughs> Why do your feet hurt? Were you standing there scrubbing with your feet? Well, that's not good, Sean. You need to unpack your craft stuff. You need to get on that. Pronto. Get creating. <laughs> How's your new place, Pixie? And, and new job and stuff? How's that going? I moved back into our apartment. Oh, you mo you didn't move out? I thought you moved out. I'm confused. Hmm. That's exactly it, Shell. Me too. I would... 
definitely be unpacking my craft stuff first. Well, I've already decided that the next place I move to, I have no idea where it's going to be at this point. I have no idea if it's going to be a house, an apartment, uh, whether I get the RV thing going. I don't know. But all I know is that no matter where it is, the main living space is going to be my craft studio, likely. No, you didn't lose me. I think you lost yourself. <laughs> um, you might have to refresh. No, oh, I don't. I don't look forward to having to pack this room, and I don't look forward to having to pack the rest of my house as well. I've been packing. Luckily, slowly, I've been able to pack, and I've got a lot done. Okay, I'm going to pick another card. Add texture. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't realize you and your husband reconciled. I got gotcha. you. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Tight, 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 tight. Yes, art studio with a bed. Exactly. I don't need a living room. I'm in here 90%, 99.9% of the time. And when I'm not in here, I go to bed. So I don't need a living room. And so I'd rather have art studio. You know. I seen somebody on YouTube who did the same thing. She had her whole house. Like when you walk in is her art studio and, and then her kitchen and then her bedroom. And then she, her, one of her guest room is where she has a couch set up to watch TV. And I'm like, well, you know, that works for me. think I'm going to add texture with, oh, you know what, I'm going to use some, I think I'm going to use some gold, I'm going to use this stuff here, texture lux, and use them, use some gold, and put like that on there. I definitely want that on the cover, I think. Don't you agree? That would look cool. I do need a, a palette knife of some sort. Would help. There we go. Oh no, there it goes. Oh no. Get back here. Don't go. Don't leave me. Go back. There we go. Hi, Odette. See, I, I wouldn't mind a tiny house, but I would rather have an RV, to be honest, because they're actually bigger. And tiny houses are too small. I have a friend who has a tiny house, and it's just a little too small for me. But RVs are actually bigger than the tiny houses. And, you know. But where I was looking, you can I can have my RV plus a 10 by 12 shed, which is the size of my room. So that's what I was, that's one of the plans is to have an insulated and air conditioned shed, which most people do in the place that I was looking. Um, yeah, so that is one of the plans anyway, at this point. I don't need this big old house. I never did. We moved here when me and Chris were together because originally we thought we were going to either adopt or foster children. But so we were like okay with having a five bedroom house. 
at that time. And like at some point, because I knew I couldn't have kids or it was very well at the time, it was the deal was it was at that time almost impossible. And then it became impossible for me to have kids. But I wanted kids at one point and I thought, well, since we're living and plus we were renting this house anyway, because we got a good deal on it. And so we were renting it first and then we got the offer to buy. But I was happy with it because of the fact that I thought, well, if we were to adopt or foster kids, um, you know, this would be a good house for that. But then that didn't happen, obviously, because, you know, he had other plans, I guess. You know, like being gay and stuff. <laughs> that came out really cool. Does anybody see how cool that is? That's some cool right there. And then we're going to do the little one. Hi to anybody that has come in that I have not said hi to. Hello. I'm trying to do this without making a big mess. There we go. Cool beans. Let's move that out of the way so I can properly clean this off not make more of a freaking disaster. Put that in there. What is the gold paste you're using? It is called Texture Lux. And it is a gold metallic paste. It's kind of like Inca Gold or Metallic Luster from Deco Arts, except thinner not as thick a little more creamier not as dense kind of like a, a heavy gesso but yet yeah, it's gold and metallic it's by faber castell i won this in a, some sort of prize pack from a, a group i was in like years ago it was one of the prizes that i won it came with like some other things, I guess. I don't even remember. I just haven't used it much, but I do like it. Oh, my foot's falling asleep. I hate when that happens. So I gotta sit here and bang my leg. <laughs> I can talk bad about you. Did you hear what Sean did? Sean's a, you know, he's a piece of work, let me tell you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have anything to say.
Oh, yeah. Don't lie, Pixie. You're talking bad about everybody. So is Christy. So is Spanky. You're all talking smack. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I'm going to pick another card. Collage or decoupage ephemera. So if you want to add any more ephemera to your piece, now's the time. Okay, I just take that nice comment back, Stacy. What nice comment? Uh, <laughs> Fine, be that way. See, you're mean. Evil, evil woman. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pick another card. Use stamps. Oh, I wish I would have done that before I put the texture down, but I might have a stamp or two to use, maybe, sort of, kind of. Ooh, you like that one? Let's see. Hmm. little ones. Hi Dawn, how are you? I wonder if white paint, white ink, the white ink that I like to use will work on this. Let's see, Let's see and find out. Shall we? We shall. Because I'd love to see the white ink show up on here. Yes, it does. Hooray, hurrah.
Are you leaving, Lynn? needing ink again stamp because you are like pain in the ass seriously got some issues mm. oh you gotta be kidding me well, I'm going to have to glue that down. It literally ripped my paint off. Or ripped my pa paper off. Because the stamp is so flipping sticky. <sighs> no big deal. But what a pain in the ass that is. What a flibbity gibbet. That has become... It's okay. Weird. <laughs> oh no. Trouble's in the house. Here comes trouble. Danina and Julie. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Let me guess. Were you at each other's house? Is that why you're saying... <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> sisters. Trouble sisters. <laughs> I think you need to turn your volume up, Pixie. Good lord. Turn up the volume, lady. You just the old lady. Can't hear. Turn your hearing aid up. <laughs> Let me try a different black ink. Will this one work? Let's see. I don't want to end up ripping my paper again. That's better. Goodness. You went shopping? Where'd you go? Let me guess. Let me guess. Did we go to the craft store? Hmm? Did you ladies buy out the craft store? I wonder if it'll work now or is it going to be sticky? Weird. <laughs> He's being a smart ass. Don't rip. Oh, thank goodness. Came close, but it didn't rip. I don't know, stays on as a sticky ass ink. Shall I pick another card? Metallic paints. So for anybody who is still working on theirs, you could do some metallic paints. I'm not going to do metallic paints. Goodness, I've got a mess going on. I don't know where my heat gun is. I don't know what I do with that stamp. Oh, here it is. My 
heat gun is missing. Nope, there it is. Is that it? Yep. Found it. Oh, I like this. This is going to make a really cute journal. I could do it this way or this way. I like this one on the front, though. Good night, Weiss. Get out! Oh, my butt hurts really bad. Sitting in this chair does not agree with me. Secret didn't believe me that I sit in a metal folding chair. She's like, really? You, sit, you really sit in that chair? Yeah, it has a pillow on it, but it's still uncomfortable. Does anybody need me to pick more cards? I think I'm pretty much done. The only thing I might do is go in and add a little more glitter paint. Just because I covered a lot of it up. So I just will go in and do some of that and rub it in here and there. But as far as adding any more stuff to it. I think I'm over it. I think it's got plenty of stuff on it just the way it is. Even though I do believe more is more <laughs> when it comes to mixed media. Just wipe it on my pants. I'm good. I'm glad I'm not alone. I'm not the only one that's sitting in, in an uncomfortable folding chair to do my art. paint or add, what did I say? Add paper, which I picked another one after that because I figured, well, we've added paper like three different times, so I'm sure nobody wants to add paper. But paint or splatter, we did not pick. And I'm contemplating whether I want to splatter on here or not. I don't know. I don't think I do. I think I want to keep it like this. I don't want to add splatters to it. I like it just the way it is. Doesn't even look like a piece of denim anymore. Yeah, I agree. I think it might be done as well. Stick a fork in it, it's done. It's a little damp. kind of looks more of a boho journal than it does graffiti art. I kind of went in a different direction, I guess. It's kind of a mixture of both. It's kind of like graffiti boho art. <laughs> 
because it's the, this the, the mandala thing or the doily whatever you want to call it. it looks more like a mandala i guess they added in the colors and yeah so it's kind of a mix it's a funky eclectic mix but i like it it'll make a cute journal i'll put some really cute painted papers in it Sure, Mandy. I could. Pull, I usually do pull. You know, pull some more. You could do some paint and ink sprays. You can add some dots. You know, which I actually I might do that. I might add dots. That I like the idea of adding some dots here and there. So I might take some. Let's see, maybe some white paint. Maybe I'll take some white paint and one of my little, no, not that one. I have a thing in my bobber. Here we go. Maybe that'll work. Let's try this and see. I put new paint in this. It's not apple barrel paint. It's the Dick Blick paint that I had. And... Yeah, it's thick as crap. It's, it's thick paint. Thick paint. So what I might do is add a couple of white dots. Dot. Dots are good. Dots are fun. Dots make me happy. And that's all that matters in life is dots. Well, for the next couple of minutes, that's all that matters. It might help if I zoom you in just a little. I'll try to keep it out so I don't go out of frame because we all know I have a tendency to go completely off frame. That thunderstorm must have not been as bad as it looked like it was going to be. Because uh, it came and went, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Dots, beautiful dots. Just gave it a little something. We're going to add some dots over here. We're going to go dot and dot and dot and dot. And you have to say dot every time you do it. Dot and dot. Everybody now. Dot and dot and flipping dot. Damn it, you dot your freaking dot ask in there get in there dot <laughs> that's how it goes see <laughs> nice and easy dot 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 you know 
Todd. <laughs> Dot. It's a sickly dot. Dot. It's a dot that's dying. Slow death. Dot. <laughs> it's a smoking dot. Smoked for 20 years. Dot. Anyway, I don't know that I've lost my mind completely. Before it was just a little bit lost. Now it's completely gone. That's better. I like that better than the splatters for this particular page. Page, cover, whatever. And let's see. I'm gonna add some white paint in my painty book since it's left over. That's good. Don't waste that. I don't want to waste any of that goodness. No, no, no. I'll pull another one just in case you still want more markers or pens. Add tissue or napkin. Now, obviously, you do not have to add everything that I'm pulling out. Just pick and choose what you think would, would work with what you got going on. Because, you know, by now you probably have a decently full piece. So certain things you're gonna, you know, not going to want to add. You're not going to probably want to add a napkin over top of all the busy stuff you got going on. Uh -uh. Watercolor. You can add some watercolor if you want. You can add some stickers. And obviously, at this point, if you wanted to finish it up by adding a quote or adding a focal piece like a flower or something like that, you don't need the cards to tell you to do that. That's kind of up to you. You're, you're, you guys are getting to the point where your mixed media, you're getting a lot better at the mixed media, where you guys know how to finish a page at this point, I think. If you want to, you don't have to finish a page, obviously. You can leave it and make a cover out of it, leave it and cut it into ATCs or postcards or do whatever you want. That's right, Mandy. Dot, dot, damn dot. <laughs> yeah, you can use, like, the, I think somebody said use the back of uh, a pencil eraser, the back of a, of a paintbrush. Anything will make dots. I was contemplated to use this little roll, which had something on it. I don't remember what was on it, but... It's, this is great for dipping in paint and making like circles with toilet paper rolls. They make great circles. You could do all kinds of different textures. I'm in the process right now of making a, a video series for my regular channel um, that is going to be all about texture and it's going to be several parts all about different ways to make te texture. It's for the beginner in mixed media or anybody really it's a good refresher for people that are like oh yeah i forgot about that because there's things that you might forget about you know or whatever that you it might spark some interest in using so i'm doing i'm working on that now and hopefully i'll have it up next week sometime because i like to put if it's if it has several parts to it i like to put it all up at once so that you're not waiting around for the next part and all that stuff so i'm working on it. i got the first part done and just about done edited and then i'm going to do probably four parts but I think we're gonna end it here for the night and um, if you haven't checked out my patreon yet please do um, if you're watching the recording of this, it, I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put the link in the description. You could check it out. Um, obviously, it's an optional thing. You could support my channel, and there's certain perks you get along with supporting my channel, um, like classes and this, that, and the other. Um, so that's cool. And yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Mixed Media Mashup Week 20. Can you believe we've done this for 20 weeks? 20 weeks. Crazy. I 
I hope you guys have a good night. And, um, yeah, I guess I will talk to you guys later. Make sure you put your pictures in the group of what you do. Even though I forget all the time, I will remember to put pictures in. I'll take a picture of the last couple that I did and put them all up at once. Because <laughs> I know the past few weeks I forgot. So, anyway. And don't forget the... You got five more days to do your ATCs and get them sent out. Um, you know, if you're a little late, because I know I'm going to be a little late on some of them, you know, that's all right. I'm sure nobody will kill you. Um, but try to get them out by the 10th. That's the, the goal. Uh, thanks for hanging out, guys. It was nice seeing everybody. And if you're, if you are one of my Patreons, make sure you check the Patreon site. Because I do, there's like messages there that will lead you to the, to the group. To, there should be links and stuff that you'll get through messages in there. So I don't know where those messages are, but look in there. It should show that you have messages or something. I don't know how it works much right now, but I put like a message in through there. Like I messaged everybody, or at least I'm still working on it. If there's any new people, I'll have to go in and redo it. But just check, periodically check to see it, so that you can get links to the group and this, that, and the other. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Poodle Pack out.